Oh my goodness, why are we looking so like this? Hello, everybody. Hold on. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Much better. I don't know why I don't do that beforehand. Um, so you know what? Let's not let's let's not talk about me and my late my tardiness. I had to go get a ring. I felt naked without a ring on. Good morning. I mean, well, good afternoon, good morning, whatever time it is for you. When you watch this, hi, Karen. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Joshua. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Natasha. So I decided to take my hair out. Um, Let me put some on my lips. Okay, so anyway, we are having a late night Saturday night live. Hello. If you watch this in the replay, make sure that you leave a comment or two, subscribe. You can leave a thumbs down. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> how are you? Yes, I need to wash this hair, honey. Needs to wash this hair, but I decided to take it out of the bun. It's been in for days. <laughs> um, It is longer. It is longer. It's, it's pretty long. I'm letting it grow. I want to see this. 2020 is the year to let it grow. 2020 is the year to let my hair grow. So you're going to see a lot of buns because when I'm not doing it, it's got to be in a bun. So just be aware of that. The regal bun will be living in 2020. Oh, shit. I need to wash my hair. Anyway, let's talk. Damn it. This thing is really not working. Oh, fuck. I was planning on using this um, Regal Buns on the regular um, because I wanted to. Let me see. I could probably use that though. Hold on, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna change something out because my um. Hey, Danny. My phone is acting up. Let me get the uh, what's the name? My Chromebook. Let's talk. So um, I'm, we're going to be talking about signature scents today. And let me tell you how this came about. Um, this came about because I've been watching a lot of videos. Now, let me just be real with y'all. Y'all get it. That the 2020, hi, Diana, is going to be, yes, some Regal Bond accessories. Yes, Karen, I love it. Right, Chrissy Teigen could eat her heart out because I'm about to hit supermodel status. <laughs> Only a few people understand that conversation. <laughs> I'm about to be a super bottle. Let me, let me plug this in. Unplug that. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, hold on for a second. It's going to get dark for a second. So that makes some adjustments. There we go. And I'm back on. Oh, shit. Orange light is not good. Okay, there we go. All right, I had to make a couple of adjustments right quick. Now, this thing is going to make a lot of noise when I open it up. Anyway, so let's talk signature things. For the people who come in and watch that, they're going to be like, we don't want to see all this. Okay, so anyway, let's talk signature things. Let me tell you how this began. I wish I knew how to turn off the... Oh, hold on. Let me, let me get on here. Okay, there we go. We can do that. Okay. The reason why I wanted to talk about signature scents is because I've been looking at a lot of videos, right? As we know. Malika, hello. No, 2020 ain't ready. 2020 ain't ready. So just we know that we are going to be doing a lot of, um, you know, a lot of fragrance related things because that's my new obsession and let's just be honest so it's my new obsession y'all will be fine or you won't be fine you know how people be, um i just did i got it um okay here we go 
Okay, so this is my latest latest obsession. And so a lot of things will be perfume related. So if that's not the content you want to see, well, I'm so sorry. Baby, don't you? I want it right here. I want a big gray streak right here. It's starting to come in, but I want a big one right there. Right? So, um, anyway, so I was, I've been watching a lot of videos, uh, right yes yeah i've noticed that fragrances have become very big to our side okay we we're not saying we're not saying that i started the trend but you know because i don't understand i don't understand how this is happening though because it's like ain't nobody watching me but yet everybody's starting to do the stuff i do i'm confused okay but anyway let's go on back to it okay so anyway could i do this come on give it to me okay there we go okay so i've been watching a lot of things in reference to signature scents you know people are always doing videos about what signature scents are your signature scent and their signature scent hi erica uh, Malika, you go ahead and talk to, to Michelle. Michelle will give you some clean sense because I am not a clean sense girl. I'm just going to tell you right now. I am deep, heavy fragrances. I am buying some clean sense hygiene, but until that time, I'm really not the girl for that because I just really don't wear it. But I do know clean, which is a brand right has very good clean scents so you know clean rain clean ultimate they're very good demeter has some really good clean scents um right right exactly so demeter has some very clean scents too um what you want to look for um you know um, um right i was about to say amazing graces are nice you know so they have, you know, philosophy, amazing grace, a nice clean sense. Um, you know, they're not too, too strong and everything. So those are some that you might want to look into. All right. So I was looking, like I said, I was looking, I keep seeing these things about signature scents. And everybody, you know what a signature scent is. You know, that scent that when people see you, they'd be like, yes, that's, they smell, they'd be like, that's them. Um, right. Okay. Okay. So, wait a minute, Jean's been to a party? I missed that. Oh, you did get back from a party. All right, girl. All right. So, um, so, but this is what I've noticed. Um, but what I have noticed is that people tend to show the same sense a lot. Very popular sense, very mainstream sense. You know, you always see a signature sense like Good Girl um, by Carolina Herrera. Um, you see, um, you know, La Via Belle. You see some Cocos. You know, you see Coco. You know, you see some Chanel's on there. You kind of see, I've seen even Libra. You see kind of things that, you know, are, you know, everybody, they're, they're kind of like what everybody wears, right? So I was thinking about them because really a signature is supposed to be to you, right? A signature, because when you sign something, your signature is yours. It's yours. So I'm not saying that you're going to find like, you know, this, this fragrance that no one has, but I'm just, I start thinking about it. I was like, why would you want to wear this particular fragrance that you can smell on almost everybody? Right. So that's why I was thinking about signature scents in a way that was a little more different and wanted to talk about like in reference to the things that are signature scents and how to kind of kind of vibe on them and figure out what you want to do. OK, so the thing is with things that let's talk about certain things. Now, you don't necessarily want to blind buy like my crazy ass does, you know, because, of course, we know I have this belief that. Um, hey, Kelly, that I, I go and buy shit all the time. I buy makeup blind buy, so why can't I buy a perfume? Now, the good thing to do is to always try to get samples. Sephora gives 
three samples whenever you're there. So you can always go and try out some fragrances and see what you like and get three samples to see if it really works. That's number one. You can get into like the fragrance subscription things like I have, like don't do Simber, but Scentbox is good and Royalty Scents is awesome, right? Hi, Jenny. So I'm just, so those are the couple of places that you could do. There are also some companies where you can just buy samples. Um, the Perfumed Court is good for them. Max Aroma has them. Lucky Scents has them where you could just buy samples. Also, FragranceNet.com, um, um, I do, I think I have some scent box in, in here. Um, royalty scents I need to add. Um, but also fragrance net, which is where I buy a lot of my fragrances. You can buy samples. You just have to put in samples in the, um, description box. And I, you know, um, uh, right. Right. So, you know, it's like that you can, you can buy, um, samples through them just to try them out and they're cheaper than a lot of places because like I found like the the samples on fragrance net are very inexpensive as opposed to what like the company like uh, uh, other companies charge for instance like stuff that'll be like six dollars for a sample you'll get it for three dollars on fragrance net so and I think perfume.com has them too so check first with online sources for samples as opposed to just going oh I can't get it especially for stuff that's kind of like out there. So that's number one. Number two, what I want to say about them, and I'm going to show you some things that I, some examples, but the other thing is, is think about the sense that you like and then go on to Fragrantica and find out what are the notes that are prevalent in the sense that you like. That can kind of help you and what kind of groups that you like. Like I love oriental florals. I know we, as y'all, y'all probably can figure this out for people who know for sense. I like oriental florals. So a lot of my stuff is oriental florals. I do like floral fruities. You know, I'm kind of all over the place, but I do know that oriental florals, orientals in general are my shit, you know, because I like spicy things. I like vanilla. I like that kind of vibe. I do like gourmands, but not as much as oriental florals. I'm just trying to say that, right? Hi, Christine, how are you? And I'm the queen of oud, right? I love a good oud. Speaking of who's, I got a new one today. Um, so once you start seeing what sense, what what fragrances you like, then what notes you like, then when you see fragrances, you can kind of get a feel for them, you know. Um, so high world of dreams. So then you can start looking at the notes, and then you can say, okay, this might be something I might be interested in, right? That's how. So that's a way to start figuring out how to look for things that are in your scent category that you might be interested in so i have a tendency like um right exactly and so right once you start once you start really looking at the things that you enjoy what you like that can help you choose something in that realm that might not be just like everything that everybody wears because i gotta be honest with you um it's like everything um that I see, they're always talking about, I mean, everybody, Good Girl, Good Girl by Carolyn Herrera, um, La Via Belle. It's like, damn, so we all going to wear the same five set fragrances in this world? Come on. Come on now. There's a world of fragrances out there. So, um, yeah, right. And you can find the scent you hate. Exactly, Lisa. You can find the scent you love. You can find the scent you want to stay away from. Right. Right. Hold on for a second. Okay, so here's a little trick I do when I'm on for Grantica. I have this little system. Oh shit, let me start drinking this tea. Um, one of what my system partly it partially is I look at how many I had to turn on the fan because you know I got project heat. You know, I got project heat in my, in my room. My house got project heat. It's either I got cold, no heat, or I got project heat. For the people who don't understand what project heat is. Right, so you need to know what you cannot use, what you can use, what you like. Like things like, for instance, what I have learned is I actually like modern day patchouli. 
when I think of patchouli, growing up at the times I did, I think of that hippie patchouli, which is they just wore patchouli, you know, patchouli oil. It stunk. It smelled like burning ass, nasty ass wood. So I have always stayed away from patchouli. So with so, but what I found is that now that they use it, mm -hmm, um, now now that I know using certain in fragrances, it's really it smells really good. I didn't even know that Angel was a patchouli base, but I loved Angel back in the day. So you know, I've learned things I love. We know I love oud. I I actually never thought I liked rose. But I like modern, the modern take on rose. So I have a lot of rose and, you know, fragrances. So, you know, it's like you learn things as you go along if you look and see what you're doing. So let's just talk about a few things. Like, for instance, this guy started in my head because of this particular fragrance. Y'all should see by my feet. It's terrible. Um right see and see you know that but it is so here's how I got started okay because when I started buying fragrances again I started you know kind of buying the things that I was hearing a lot about I was like okay let me get some of this stuff and I got this alien now the jury is still out on whether I like alien or not but it's okay I mean it's not a bad um it's not a bad sense, but it's just like, oh, okay, plus everything you see, people are like, oh my God, alien, oh my God, alien. Now, do you really want to smell like alien um, all the time? Because, you you know, it's like, I feel like this with a signature is like, it should stand out, but it also should stand out for you. Now, of course, since that smell different on everybody, we can go through all that, you know, Right, I still don't right, I'm still don't know if I like it. But I will say this, who wants to always go out and say this is your signature um and smell like everybody? Right? So, right. So, here's a alternative that I have. And I'll talk about my signature since also so you can kind of get a vibe for who i am in this but let me show you this now we know this is like you know jasmine and vetiver and you know amber i mean it's very and it is kind of polarizing because people that now i will say the bottle is lovely in a very alien sort of way i will say the the bottle works it does make you think alien so you know i mean you got to give moogler his props for his bottles so anyway, this is here, Alien, right? But I have something that kind of vibe like Alien, but isn't Alien, right? And what it is, is um, Serge Luton's The Tour Noir. Now, the reason why I say it vibes like Alien, and I'm gonna, let me look up the um, notes for this. Um, because it does not have similar notes. I know, hold on, what the hell? I can't find it. Oh, up here. I'm on here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, the Tour Noir. Okay. Right. Right. I mean, it's, so this is really not like that one. Okay. And the reason I'm saying is like the notes are not the same at all. But it evokes the same kind of vibe to me when I'm wearing it. Like at first when I smelled this, I was like... I don't know if I like it. So that's what I'm saying. So like this one, it has a, a certain powdery to it. So this is more of a tuberose. It's a white floral with a little almond. So it's kind of got a little fruitiness to it. But when I smelled it, I was like, mmm, and put it on the first time. I was like, I really don't know if I like this. Now that I've worn it a few times, I'm like, okay, I do like it. So that's why it made me think of alien because it's not that they smell similar but because just that whole vibe of mm, uh, 
don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I like this. I'm not sure if I like this. But this has tuberose, tonka bean, almond, lemon, blossom, blossom, mandarin, orange, a little musk. So it's, you know, it's not similar at all when it comes down to the notes. But when you smell it, it kind of gave, gave me that same vibe. I was like, okay, they kind of they kind of make me feel the same way now i really like the tour noir and i think the tour if you are kind of like mm, you're not feeling alien you kind of like it you're still not sure try the tour noir because it does have that same kind of vibe but it's a much more wearable fragrance to me personally than alien um and i've actually gotten compliments on it i was like oh, okay so i'm getting a compliment um, so that's why I would say this, that's kind of where I went with this. All right. Um, now next up, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Now I do not have Good Girl cause I've tried it. I've sampled it and I was like, it's okay. It's not worth the, all that hype to me personally. I'm like, okay, thank you for, you know, okay. Good girl. I personally think the, the majority of the hype is about the packaging. I think part of the reason why it's so popular is the packaging. Because, I mean, it, now it is very tuberose, it is very tonka, it has cacao in it. So, it, it, you know, it has a beautiful, you know, sense in it. So, I was sitting there thinking, okay, so which one of these do I like that could be, um, Right, right. The packaging is the packaging is it because I mean, really, think about it. you got this little. It, it, the packaging is it, y'all. The packaging does it. So here's for me what rem, not reminds me, but is in the same vibe. This is tuberoses castans, which is um, now of course Carolina is a little bit less expensive, but this. Um, this one has tuberose in it. It has tonka bean. It has, but the difference is it has a more of a nutty scent. Um, Good Girl has almond in it. This has chestnut. So it, it's um, it's nothing, you know, they don't vibe the same. But to me, this is a much richer scent. But that's just me. Um, you know, that's just me. Uh so I'm just here to say that that's just me. Now La Vie Belle. Now get don't get me wrong. I have worn La Vie Belle. I think it's a beautiful scent, um, but it's every, every, everywhere. I mean everywhere, and it's like every time I see a video about people's fragrances and they start talking. If they're not a niche person, I swear to you, LaVia Bell comes in there someplace. At some point in some lists they do, it comes in at least two or three times. You know, and it's like, like LaVia Bell is a very good scent, but damn, you know, it is what, it is the most played out woman's fragrance out there right now. It really is. I mean, you smell that stuff coming and going. And everybody talks about it. Ugh. So, for me, something that's kind of in that vein, that is very beautiful, that will make you stand out, but is not super, super popular at this point. Let me give y'all this one. Y'all, DJ's number one. DJ's number one. And I have to agree, is uh, Elisab, Girl of Now. It is very... It kind of vibes like Lavia Bell, but because everybody isn't wearing it, you will still stand out. I mean, this this is popular in the fragrance community, but in the real world, it is not because you can't get it everywhere. So if you're looking for something Lavia Bellish, but you don't want to smell like Lavia Bell, go with Girl of Now. This is orange blossom, it's pistachio, it's almond. You know, it's a really pretty girly scent just like La Via Bell, but you will you will still have a signature that works that is not all over like that ain't everybody's signature signatures are supposed to be you know prize special you know what why you gotta return your uh, what why you gotta return the comforter i thought you liked the comforter 
Let's let's stop that for a second and talk about the comforter. So that's one of the so just a thought out there, you know, just throwing these out here. Um <laughs> I've got all kind of stuff around me. Um uh, we'll put this thing back wherever I have it. Okay. All right. <sighs> Said no one in Chicago ever. It did sound nice and cozy and toasty though. So I was wondering what you was getting it. I was like, okay. Oh, you bet. What you gonna get? You, you already spent the money. Right. Okay. I didn't know that, but okay. Listen, you already spent the money on it. You getting that return. Uh Oh, see, I like being warm. I like being like, I like to feel like I'm in a warm hug. I like to feel like I'm in a warm ass hug. So, oh, you're just going to exchange it for a light down? Okay, I got you. Right. Right, give me that, baby. That's me. That's me. That's me. Okay, so now let me show you, let me talk about some of my signature scents um, that I absolutely adore. Some of them are popular, but they're popular like within the fragrance community, where yes, you hear about them on fragrance community stuff, but on the real in streets, you ain't gonna smell them. So let's talk about stuff that you in the streets, you know, you won't, you're not gonna smell. And that's the thing, I think that they should be unique. You know, they should be something that everybody doesn't smell like. Or is it, um, right. You know, apparently, you know, unless, of course, you want to smell like everybody, then here's some suggestions. <laughs> if you want to smell like everybody, go and get you a Marc Jacobs. Get you some Daisy, Daisy Love, Daisy, Daisy. You can get that stuff, okay? just saying hey Tracy hey Tracy you know I'm just saying you know but here's me with my fragrances that I am vibing with that are more my signature kind of stuff now of course as Michelle said I love I'm a lover of oud I am a lover of oud I am loving um rose and oud rose oud rose oud rose oud but you know I'm, I'm looking at other ouds too I like you know the floral ouds and everything you know right Right. I mean, like, you got to have your everyday work, you, you know, work by perfumes. And I have some of those, but they are, um, no, I have not tried Glossier yet. Um, I, listen, you know, I wanted to buy so much stuff, Danny. I'll be trying it. I got to put it on my list, though. I got to try it. Um, okay. So, <laughs> so for me, we know that my scents, my signature scents are extremely heavy. We know that they are very, you know, in your face and everything. And like I said, one of the things I have found is that I do like rose, but I like the modern roses. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, we know first off. Um, okay, okay, I might have to try that one. It'll get on the list. The list is huge though. Um, we know that, you know, we don't, I don't even have to say this, but we know that this is my, this is me all day, all day, all day. Rose's Berberanza is me all day. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> She's me all day. Y'all know I love this shit. Y'all, I, I mean, Rose Pistachio, um. Right. Let me tell you. Hi, Anya. Let me tell you what I have to do with my list. I go through it because it's on my... I, I screenshot perfumes all the time. And then what I do is I go through and then I see which ones I've ordered and I delete them to remind me, okay, you got them. And then what I've been trying to do is go back in there because I'll get... I'll find... I'll hear about something new and be like, ooh, let me get that. And then I'll be like, no, but you got these other ones on your list. So yes, we know that I love Roses Barbaranza. This is Pistachio. This is Roses. This is just heaven to me. It's... I just love Roses Barbaranza. I really do. Um... So, boom, that's that. Yes, that is my signature. Now, here's the other one. And it just came in today. Uh, 
I've had a sample of it. And I took my Ebates money and I got my Parfums de Marley Delina because I got my Ebates money. And here that baby is. So this is actually going to be spring. A lot of this is very spring. This is going to be part of the spring collection. Now she's pricey. We're not going to lie. I'm not going to sit up here in front like she is not. Girl, it's gonna be in a it's gonna be a set of encyclopedias soon. What y'all talking about? Um, oh, now she pricey, but I did find her uh, under, you know, retail. She pricey and she's heavy. Delina, ooh, um, but yeah. So I bought, you know, that was my afterpay, you know. Right, right. I use my Ebates cash. Now, I still got to make payments on it, but that first payment was Ebates. But yeah, so anyway, this was part of my, yes, this is part from Mr. Marley. She's expensive. Um, however, do not go retail. Find her at FragranceNet or Perfume.com. Go through one of them. Do not go and pay retail because this is $300 retail. Um, but she's lovely. I already have. If you don't want to do this, um, Royalty Sense has Delina where you can get it to try for $20. You know, so there you have it. Um, so yeah, so Royalty Sense has where you can try it for $20. That's where I tried it first. I was like, oh yeah, I need her. Um, but she is um, lychee and rose and peony. And the thing is, she's got this rhubarb in it and it's got the sour sweetness. That is just delight delightful so yes um dang i didn't even do yesterday because i i pay i was good i paid bills i was adulting yesterday so i paid bills so my ebay's check this time is gonna be real tiny because i haven't real. i've been trying to be good but um right oh it is delightful i'm gonna say it is and and even though delina is super popular within the fragrance community it's one of those things that you probably not gonna smell on the average person you know when you go around the people that you know they ain't gonna be wearing i promise you it's gonna be a very who's gonna be like oh you got on delina it's gonna be like very few so that way you know you do stand out i'm just here to say that here to say that and let me say this um right yeah I ain't whatever yeah I ain't calling them all that it's ebates um and let me say this if you are a person who doesn't buy perfumes and ain't buying like my crazy ass it's okay to save up and buy you a really nice bottle because it's not like you want like seventeen thousand bottles if you're looking for some signature scents that just sing to you and that you're gonna wear a lot, then be willing, then it's okay to splurge and do that. I would say have one that's more like Delina is definitely something that you don't wear every day because she pricey, she spicy girl. But it's something to have when you go out and you're going because Delina is a very is strong, it's got great, it's got a great scent trail, it, it is on you for a while so it's worth the money you know it isn't one of those where you have it and then you know you got to keep spraying it all the time mm -mm, delina ain't that girl she's not that girl. so that's what i'm saying so like something like that is something that isn't necessarily something this is like special occasion this is your special occasion fragrance that when you go to some when you go to events or anything like that you stand out from the crowd and everybody's gonna be like oh shit oh shit okay so there we go and that's kind of like of Rose's Barbaranza too, because she pricey too. Now it's a bigger bottle, but she pricey too. She pricey too. Now, so those are two of mine. Now, um, honestly, this is one that I just got recently and definitely gonna be one of my spring signatures. And this is Kim is more like everyday kind of vibe. This is Dahlia Devin. This is the La Nectar one. Love, I have the other original Dahlia Devin also, and it is a little more, um, 
it's a little richer it's a little deeper this one is a floral it's a yellow floral it has mimosa in it it has jasmine it has white florals in it it's a really burst of scent uh, so this one is really nice so if you want a floral um and it and it's it's girly but still has a little edge to it this is beautiful on and last i've worn it already this winter and it smells divine on so i cannot wait to wear it in the spring and summer i mean like like i said i've had dahlia divan for over a year and i use it every once in a while but this one i was like oh shit this what okay miss the nectar so yeah so this is the one that i like of the dollar is Givenchy's. and the thing is is that not a lot of people talk about dahlia divan it's really interesting because like when you watch videos a lot it's like you know and you start listening you don't hear people really talking about the dahlia divans even though they're really good fragrances they last long they have good projection things like that but people just ain't coming for them because i you know fragrance just like makeup is very you know popular driven so even though you know certain things are you know you see a little more and a lot more interesting but it's also about the popular stuff and so Givenchy that is um yeah you never really hear about it Danny check your Ulta because they had this for half price in the store I don't know if they still do but they've been running it half price I don't know if they're getting rid of it but it has been running half price the regular Dahlia Divin and the Dahlia Divin Le Nectar that's how I want to buy it so this I got for um this is like $48 so you know in case they have it so that's one that I've been la la loving I think it's a really beautiful scent um Mm -hmm. see it yeah because if they still had it i think they're getting rid of it so because it's been like half price for quite some time for over a month it was half price yeah the lenectar of the two that's the one that i prefer because it's like a bright burst of floral whereas uh, dahlia divin is a little more subdued it's a little more musky it's a little more powdery where the dahlia the, the lenectar when you put it on it's just like oh my goodness i smell like flowers i smell like a garden y'all i smell like a garden so yeah, there, there we go. Now, um, the other one, which is kind of my, which I know will be one of my signature scents for the spring, is Mansara Pearl. Now, like I said, you have to like fig to like this one, cause this is deep fig. Let me let me get y'all the notes for this one. This one is, and I love the smell of fig. So let me just put that out there. I love fig. So this is good to me. But Mansara Pearl is, I went back and forth with it because I was looking at Fragrantica and, you know, people were like kind of, mm, not talk, you like loving it. So this is a floral, but it's got fruity. It's like fruity. It's got rose in it. So what it is, it's like a figgy rose, which is beautiful, but it's, is very strong on the fig so if you don't like fig this isn't something that you would like but it's also like a full burst of fig because you it's kind of got this woody note um that it comes off in the beginning the top comes off very woody like a woody fig so unless you like you can deal with that that top note but once it dries down it becomes this glorious figgy rose which and it has um jasmine in it and violet and white musk so it has this but the fig stays true throughout the whole thing so even with the dry down you still get a lot of fig so you really have to like fig in order to wear this i like fig so i'm gonna be wearing it and now the thing with mansara is mansara is a huge bottle this is like four ounces this is the only size they make them in and you can find them online at good prices they normally retail if you're buying them from them this is like four ounces 180 dollars there's there's a right around there which isn't bad if you think about how big this bottle is but you can find them much cheaper online so always make sure you look for them online at, at fragrancenetperfume.com because you will find them really inexpensive so that's why i really like um this one yeah yeah it's because so, i didn't pay i think this was under a hundred dollars so i'm just being honest um so yeah so man sarah pearl um and they're, they're a niche brand um which is kind of niche but they have a lot of fragrances they are niche but kind of like 
almost mainstreamy. So they they're kind of mainstream but niche. So if you want to feel like you got niche, like you're never you, I can promise you, if you buy a man Sarah, you probably not gonna smell yourself around people. Now when I now here's a trick with with fragrance that come when you're looking at things. The first thing I do is look at the rating if it has one, and I always look for something that has if it has three point five or higher. Then I'll start reading the reviews. If it has like a really bad low rating, I'm like, okay, no, let me just leave that one alone. But if it's like 3.5 or higher, I'll start reading the reviews just to get a feel for it. And if I want to see if I want to put this on my list to try. So this one was like, I was like, okay, I, I kind of sound like I might want it, but I did want it and it's very good. So that's the signature for me. Uh this one, of course, is one of my signatures. This is Jasmine Wisp by Rosasi. Besides the fact the damn box it comes, the packaging is so lovely. Because this is the one that has the wood box that it comes in. Wood box, y'all. Wood box. This is very inexpensive. Um, but this is by Rosasi, which is a company out of uh, UAE or Dubai. I can't remember which one. But anyway, this is one of those very sexy sexy ass fragrances like i say it, this reminds me of stuff that i used to wear back in the day and it is a very you know it has a very good um this is one of those you going out this is a secure the bag kind of sense just being honest this is a secure the bag kind of sense just you know we we know what we talking about you secure in the bag with this so let me give you a, now the interesting thing is called jasmine wisp but it absolutely does not have any jasmine in it but you know i guess it gives off that jasmine -y feel and when i think of jasmine i think of i think of things like um so it has a citrus burst um let me tell you what this it has pear juice um with amber in and strawberries i mean it's got a lot going on in here but but what it does is it gives you a jasmine vibe. That's what it gives you. Hi, Natasha, which is very sultry. So this is a very sultry fragrance. Um, this is something that, you know, this is not for every day. This is, well, unless you're that girl who can rock this every day. I mean, honestly, I'd wear this. The only, <laughs> I, of course, I have to watch things because I work in a school. But, so here's what it has. It has... Um, Scents laced with generous ambery pear juice and hints of citrus with bourbon vanilla, coromaine, and maltol. It has amber with strawberry. So it has um it has like white florals and stuff, but it doesn't have um jasmine, which is so funny to me. Um it has a mix of white florals, so it has a very sultry it has a very sultry scent to it. This is definitely something where you wear a black dress. This I would definitely see somebody wear who wears all black with hot red with red lipstick on. This is, you know, or some deep, deep, vampy lips. This is her fragrance. That's her fragrance. So that's one that I love. It is, of course, one of my signature scents. And we know this one is one of mine also, which is. Oud Bouquet, which is another Maison Lancome, which is Oud, of course. And this is a sweet Oud. It has rose, it has praline, it has vanilla in it. So it has a sweetness to it. We know that I get lots of compliments on this. And like I said, in the fragrance community, this is very popular, but you're not going to smell yourself everywhere. You know, I'm not going to smell myself with this on because people really don't. Because to get Maison Lancome, you have to go to Nordstrom's. You have to go to Macy's has it. So this isn't something and you'd have to know because like when you think Lancome fragrances, you think La Via Belle. You think Tresor. You think Poem. There's a whole list of them that you think of. But Maison Lancome is part of the private line. So it's not at every store. So, you know, you have to like know, you got to be in the know to get you some Maison Lancome. Now, if you don't want to spend the Maison Lancome money, Swiss Arabian has a, a dupe of it called Shagaf Oud, which I have, and it is a true dupe of it. So if you, you know, because it's she pricey, she pricey. But if you would like something like that, if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and get the Swiss Arabian. Um... Shagaf Oud. So, and I mean, this, 
Mm. And this is like thirty some dollars, okay? As opposed to that two hundred and two hundred dollar bottle, this is thirty something dollars. I'm just here to give y'all that. It's thirty something. So it is like, but this is a very strong fragrance. This is you. Do not you cannot be shy wearing these fragrances. They are oud based. They are very in your face. They are very strong. So this is for somebody who really you know is like you. It is unisex, even though DJ says it's not. It's like, it's a bouquet in it. It is considered unisex, so it's a very pretty, pretty, um, right. Oh, yes, Hypnos, yes, Lancome. You know, so there are certain things that we think of with Lancome, but they have the whole private line that is the bomb. Okay, so those are some that I that can think of right off the top. And then, now, this is one that I say that is a very good one for a signature scent because once again, you're not gonna smell yourself all over. This is, um, right, right, you know, that's DJ. They say flowers in it, no, I don't want it. Um, this is Shalimar Souffle Intense. I'm about to get another one of these. Girl, he was like, no, Ma, that is not. It says bouquet, um, Shalimar Souffle Intense. Uh, right now, you and this is, a citrusy vanilla this is a really good everyday scent um if you're looking for an everyday signature scent this is a really good one because it's got a little citrus in it it's got vanilla in it it's it, it's beautiful on but it's not too much like you know ooh bouquet some of these uh, you know jasmine whisk those are not stuff that you could that you should really kind of wear every day. This is kind of an everyday scent where it's really pretty on. It's got, this, it's got vanilla in it. It dries down beautifully. It stays on well. But so it's not, as they say, um, and I don't really care. I don't really care about that. But, you know, it's not offensive. But you also are wearing something that's a little different because um, this doesn't. Now, if you know old school Shalimar, this is not, it does not smell like old school Shalimar. It has the Souffle ones definitely have a different type, a slight DNA of the, the original Shalimar, but they've taken it to a more modern edge. So if you like Shalimar before, this is similar. But you no, know, let me say this even if you didn't like Shalimar, because I wasn't a huge Shalimar fan back in the day. This is a nice one because it's a more modern uh, twist on that kind of vibe. Um, and like, and now Guerlain, Mon Guerlain, everybody, oh, Mon Guerlain, that's the thing. Go and get you some souffle and test. Now, you know, I got some regulars up in here. And we buy, I'm trying, I was trying not to go to my regular schmegulars, as my girl Ladessa like to say, not the regular schmegulars, but you got to give up some of the regular schmegulars, right? Okay, so. Tammy's going to love this one too. All right, so let's talk about some regular schmegulars that are not the same so we know one of my regular schmegglers is lalique amethyst and you can see since i've gotten her i have been wearing her um this is well can't leave the regular schmegglers out um this is <laughs> pink pepper and it's just cool it's just beautiful like i've always said um lalique amethyst is very much for that kind of interesting chick who doesn't want who definitely does want to smell like everybody because it has, let me get y'all these. Because I'm, all, I'm, I'm forgetting. But it. Lalique. All right. Look, I'm doing this. I'm giving y'all more for granted. Cause we doing it up, children. We are doing it up. So this is the floral fruity. Let me give y'all the first top notes. Cause I'm, I'm like lost right now. I'm sorry, blackberries. Amethyst is your signature. See Natasha right there with me. It's blackberry and currant. It's got um, peppers in it. It's got nutmeg. So it's a floral fruity, but it isn't like that girly, what you expect a floral fruity to smell like. It's not a bonbon. It's not anything like candy-ish, 
pink sugar you know when you think about fruitiness and florals and things like that it doesn't give you that extra like um immature hi sandra okay well thank you you know um it, it gives you uh that vibe without it being just ooh, okay i know what i did here hold on let me do something right quick okay she's back on my face okay so it gives you that kind of floral fruity vibe without it being i don't want to say girly but you know like bubble gumish that's what i'm looking for it's not a bubble gumish floral fruity it is a very sophisticated it is a very um mature floral fruity and i don't mean mature um in a you know old older woman where but more mature from in that kind of genre because when you think of floral fruities you think of things that are kind of bubble gumish whereas this is a very much a grown ass woman's fragrance so there's the difference so this is where you want to go with that now the next one and this is one of my most innocent and lalik amethyst is very inexpensive do not buy it retail if you go in some place and you pay in retail don't don't do it this thing is about 30 dollars. don't spend no more than that don't do it do not do that all right i'm just i'm just here to say that don't you do it we i'm we're gonna come for you then not at all now this one is a regular schmegler and now this is a super inexpensive yeah i don't even if you don't have to do not pay retail certain things you're gonna wind up paying retail for but certain things you can you do not have to pay retail for at all okay so this is Fifth Avenue Royale. Tammy will look test to this one because she has this with me. <laughs> this has basically hardly anything in it, right? Now, this is one of the most inexpensive you will find. Um, it has raspberry liqueur. It has um, patchouli and royal suede accord. So it's only got a, a few um, notes in it that they claim. But it's like this boozy very kind of leathery smell but it is beautiful on and this baby is under twenty dollars i'm just here to tell you under twenty dollars we all sleeping on elizabeth art i'm, I'm telling y'all i'm about to buy a whole lot of elizabeth art we're gonna have a whole elizabeth art night one day because um elizabeth art low-key got some stuff elizabeth art low-key got some stuff y'all we just ain't been we ain't been wearing her because we think of her like red door you know the whole red door vibe which was tack you know everybody back in the 80s everybody wore red door they wore giorgio beverly hills they wore that kind of stuff the stuff i was not wearing my sister and them oh that mm -mm. but anyway this has a raspberry so it has a boozy kind of vibe but it and and it has this leathery smell which is Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> that was a lot going on. This is such a pretty, right, right, mm hmm, right. This is, and you, and I promise you, no one's gonna be smelling like you because no one Elizabeth Art. No one goes comes for Elizabeth Art. No one's coming for her. Everybody's like, oh, no, no, no. She's no. She's she's eighty. She's seventy. She's eighty. She's not. No, we do not. Oh, not rare. Oh, rare gold. Yes, girl. Okay. So yes. So this is beautiful, glorious. It's really. This is something you could blind buy because this is this is less than twenty at the most. I mean, we spend, you know, you buy some lipstick for twenty some dollars. You can buy a bottle of perfume. I'm just saying. Here's my here's my thought process on a lot of things. Put this let me put this one back. All right, now another one. I'm gonna do a couple more. <laughs> This one is Club de Nuit Intense. This is um, by Armoff, which is a clone house out of um, UAE. Now, 
within the fragrance community, you have them people who do that crazy shit too. Ah, they're duping. That's terrible. So the, it, it goes in every genre, y'all. I know we talk about these in the makeup community that shut up. Okay, people make dupes. And then you have people like, oh my God, that's terrible. So they they are a true clone house. But anyway, first off, this is a brick. It's tacky. It's got it looks like a little dice head or something. A gold dice head. It's terrible looking. But <laughs> from what I've heard, it is a clone of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, which we know is expensive as hell. This is very inexpensive. This is a deep rose oud. It has um but it's a brick. This is a brick. You get mad at somebody. Don't throw this at somebody in in anger because you will knock them the fuck out and you might catch a case. So this is kind of stuff. Don't do that. Don't ever do that because this is something you could pick up and try to throw at somebody, right? But you don't want to do that because I'm telling you right now, you will catch a case. This damn thing is so heavy. So this is, this is catch a case packaging. Don't do it. But let me give you the notes because this is, now this is the woman's version. Just so you know, there's a man and a women's version. This is the woman's version. Uh, make sure you get this. So this is a rosy, spicy one. Does this have saffron in it? Okay, let me make sure. Because this is vanilla. Ooh, it's rose. This is a different, this is a sheep or floral. Yeah, it has saffron in it and geranium. So it has the geranium. It has the rose. It has nutmeg. It has violet pepper. So it's a very spicy, oody rose. Um because so, I love saffron is another thing that you will find see oh yeah the unstable bottles yeah so it has vanilla ooh patchouli this is one of the this is a very intense very now let me say this is another one of these this is a definitely sexy rosy scent this is definitely this is a sexy rose i will be doing a rose thing because i've been going off on rose too so we will have rose night we're gonna go through all my roses rose scent every perfume that got rose in it we're gonna go through it one night because you know i don't do 10 i do what however many we can talk about in two fucking hours okay so anyway this is a, a beautiful rose scent and it um and it is very very sexy and when we say sexy it's that one of those deep vibrant sensual scents and the thing and it is strong as hell you can do not overspray this it will be it will be all up in your throat so do not overspray it but it lasts it projects it is out there for the masses to smell you know Ugh. oh yes i do you know what you write because we love that but it's like it's only in a body wash you are right girl i hmm i'm gonna have to start smelling some stuff and see what do i have something smell similar to it but yeah this is a deep beautiful rose scent um and like i said noir de noir is very you know very well known very popular so if you want to have that kind of scent um get this and you can find you know you could try noir de noir wherever time for private labels are which is nordstrom's neiman you know you know it's cool you know and um uh royalty scents just got it because they have a lot of time for it so that's a good one uh ha 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 now this one just came today and i already know i gotta wear a few more times but she is in the stable of things that i'm following oh she's a nude she's a nude i mean we knew that though Yes, Nordstrom carries a lot of private labels. Oh, let me get into here. Let me get into this one. Because I have to go onto another website. Huh. This thing knows me. Um, Ulta carries it online. That's how we got it. Yeah, Rituals is on Alta's site. 
So that's how I got it. And it's really not that expensive. It's only like what? Dang, it's about like $12. It's really not that expensive. I don't like, I have the, um, what's the white one? Rituals of something. See, that's the, the red one is Rituals of Ayurveda. That's the one that we love. They have a one that's a white one. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's like, uh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We don't, mm -mm. Yeah, it's definitely under 15. I was surprised it was so inexpensive. Let me see. Can I find this right here? Does it have the notes on here? Yes, it does. Yes, it, right. It's a spicy modern rose. Okay, so now I have this one. I just got her. She's from um, Swiss Arabian. I haven't even posted it on Instagram. Y'all getting it first. Y'all get it first. This is called Inara Oud. First off, the bottle is lovely. It's just, I love this bottle. The bottle is cute. I think this is only a 50 mil. Yeah, this is a 55 mil. I don't know what the hell that is. So this is a 55 mil. Um, and so this is Inara Oud by Swiss Arabian. It has, let me give you the notes. And then this is what got me. Because I'm looking for ouds that have a little more interesting um Oh yeah, you're gonna like it. Um, you want the rituals of Ayurveda. I want because the white one doesn't smell that good. I have that one, it's like, no, it's okay. So this is um it has valerian in it, so it has like a more herbally smell to it, and it has saffron, um, and something else in the beginning. Oh, and so it has saffron, valerian, and something else. Let me find it. Then it has um, roses with peach and raspberry in it. So it's got this fruitiness to it. And then it has oud and um, vanilla and teak wood. So when it dries down, it has this very, Danny, you like this? It has a kind of woody smell to it. So it has the rose, which is a deep, spicy, sexy rose. And it has the saffron, which gives it that spiciness. But what it does is once it dries down, it has this vanilla, tiki, woody, oody smell that is that is divine. It just makes me happy. So it, and then and because it has the peach and the raspberry, it gives it a little fruitiness, which none of my like most of my ouds don't have. So it's got the spiciness with a little sweetness in it, and then it dries down with this like vanilla oody tiki wood kind of vibe. So this is lovely. Okay, um, I'll show you where I got. I think I got this on perfume.com. So yes, it's. <laughs> and she's inexpensive. She inexpensive. She's a cute. I think this was under thirty dollars. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure she was under thirty dollars. That's why I bought her. So I'm just saying. I mean, you ain't you ain't got to spend a lot to smell good. And like and um, for and for me that why I wanted to show them in the signature scent realm is because it gives you scents that really don't smell like everybody else. And so that's why I want you to all to go for and not necessarily get the ones that I have or that I think of as signature scents for me, but go forth and really look at it from a different standpoint and not just grab the every everyday stuff the regular schmegulars that everybody gets and look at getting some that might be a little more interesting and now here's the trick hit fragrancenet.com hit fragrancex and perfume.com you will you will get better pricing on them and that way you can you know get those scents that you want and try it you know once you figure it out then go ahead and try them there. The certain things you cannot get on them, like they don't have the Maison Mar Margiela's, which are, you know, the ones that are Sephora. Yeah, right. And that's the thing. Every, oh my God. Like for instance, I like Jeremy Fragrance. I watch him, but he does, he, he 
pushes out the same fragrances all the time. He talks about the Juicy Coutures. Everybody talks about the Versace Crystal Noir and the Versace Bright Absolute. They're pretty, don't get me wrong. They're very nice, but everybody wears them. Every, every place you go, everybody you know. You'd be better off by philosophy. If you just want to grab something that's kind of inexpensive and, and nice and beautiful and clean smelling, you know, a nice, beautiful scent, you might as well buy philosophy. At least people don't buy them. Right. Right. See, you know, I'm a girly girl. Some of these them, them uh, unisex scents don't work on me. Speaking of scents, we need to finish up what we had started with, with uh, Mr. B before Bakari interrupted us when we was doing scents, because I still have the nest ones that we need to check out. Well, you know what? I don't know. Like I okay, since I started buying things, I all I had them all on my list. I was gonna buy the Versace stuff, but then like I'm that person when I keep hearing something over and over again, I don't want it anymore. I'm like, oh, okay, so I don't want this anymore because everybody is talking about it. So it's like I'm good. So that's why I kind of like opted out of them. I was like, no, I really don't want that no more. But see, I've been hearing these celebrity scents smell good. I'm just not a celebrity person. I just, I don't know. It's something about them. I mean, like, no, nah, I, I pass them up. I just be like, no, nah, never mind. I don't want that, that celebrity scent. But we still do have the Nest one that I still need to go through and figure out which ones I like. I was looking at the ones that I got, the Floral Street ones. Do you know they have terrible ratings on for, for Granta Cup? People do not like them. But I'm kind of digging the Floral Street ones. I'm going to go and wear them all and figure out how they wear and everything. But the I like some of them. I'm like, I'm sorry, y'all, but I like them. I'm sorry, y'all, but I like them. Yeah, he cut off that laugh. Branson was like, yeah, it's all about me now. It's all about me. I still have... Okay, uh... Hi, Ashley. Uh, Tana Moser, oh, uh, girl, she ain't get my money. Right, right, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, and you are absolutely right, so I, you know, my students might be trying to wear some Nicki Minaj I'm not wearing, plus Nicki Minaj has the most ugly thing. No, Tana Mojo coming out with a fragrance, I would never buy that, mm-mm. There are certain things that I'm just not going to help you put money in your pocket. Whether I'm going to trash it or not is not the thing. Because at that moment, I've given you my money. You ain't getting my money. I mean, I don't even, you know, mm -mm, never, never, never. Mm -mm. I am not that person, you know, um, I am not that person when it comes now. And I had to really come to grips with that and make sure and, and make peace with it with myself is that I am not going to be that YouTuber. I'm, I'm just not. Um, and I, I, because I, I watch so many people and I look at things like that, um, right, right. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because as a YouTuber of my size, this all comes out of my pocket. And so I have now made the decision that, and truly made that decision, that it's only going to be something that I want. And if I feel like rushing for something, it's going to be because it seems to me I want it. That's it. That's all. Um, because I think oft so often um, YouTubers get frustrated and, 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 you know, get all in their feelings because we spend so much time trying to buy things to review, thinking about that when we might not have bought it really. And so I'm no longer going to do that. I'm just not. I'm not going to rush to buy anything that I don't want. If I hear about it and it makes me, I say, yeah, I really want that shit. Then I'll get it. Am I going to get it just to review it? Hell no. I'm not doing that. Because my pocket can't take that. Just being honest. My pocket ain't that deep. And I'm not going to be, and I'm just not going to stay on that hamster wheel of buying things 
and trying to have things because, oh, they're popular or they're brand new and somebody might want to hear one. So that's kind of why I'm kind of liking getting into fragrances because, yes, there's new fragrances and stuff, but it's a little more... You can get away without having to rush and buy new fragrances. You can do so much different things. When it comes down to the makeup, you got to kind of get on that hamster wheel because that's what people want to hear, you know. Um, and and so now that's where I'm going to stand with it. I'm, I'm not I'm just not doing it. I'm, I'm only going to get the things that make me happy. And, you know, we know I spend a lot. So it ain't like Viva La Haba won't be involved. It'll just be the Viva La High Buy that's for me. Like, I mean, honestly, I would, I've all, since I've had the channel, I, you know, I'll be thinking about things like, oh, you know, let me get all these so I can do this type of video. And then you got to get everything, you got to spend the money for it. Then by the time you do all that, get everything here, try to use it all, make it, you got to rush and try to do all these. I'm not doing none of that shit no more. You know, kind of rushing to get something so I can be a first impression. None of that shit. So if I don't grow in that space because I'm not, oh well, you know, I'll grow however I grow. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not, you know. And so even with me like starting to get into fragrances, I had to pull myself back from that. Like, oh, I'm hearing about this so much. Oh, I need to try it. Oh, I need to have it. And I then I had to go, no, nah, really? Do you? No, nah, because you're not going to wear it because you're not, you're going to be like, damn, it's like everybody has it. And so I had to pull myself back from that and then just hit my lane. And so my lane is oud and rose and finding, you know, things that kind of seem kind of unique to me. Um, that make me happy that I think that I would like to share because it's really interesting to me as opposed to the whole, Oh, let me get, okay. I'm, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. You know, rushing and getting things like, Oh, La Via Belle and La Via Bella clock and you know, this and that, and Oh, let me get black worker, which I ain't a fan of black worker. Let me just say that it ain't one of my favorite scents. So by doing that, I've slowed that down. And so, you know, and, and I now have things that I'm like, yeah, this shit is good to me. Now that everything is, we are going to be talking about a few things that I have bought recently that I'm like, eh, right. let me, you know, eh. but it allows me to like get the things that I really want and that I am going to use. And I think that um, so, so many YouTubers are getting frustrated because they're putting a whole lot of money running that getting on that hamster wheel trying to make sure they're fresh they're relevant and things like that you know and 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 by doing that they get frustrated when they don't get the views and i get it because i've been frustrated i've been in that space like i'm frustrated i'm doing this i'm not getting the views whatever whatever you know maybe one day i'll get tired of it who knows but in the meantime i like doing this so we'll see but uh so so whatever you see is based on really what i wanted it's not because i'm trying to like be relevant or be popular it is just really what i want to purchase put my money in want to have it and that's that so some of the hauls might not be as big because they like you know we getting i'm got makeup fatigue i like perfume so it, it'll be what it be so anyway i just throw that in there now. right exactly right exactly yeah exactly that's why they're doing this you know they're talking about the this and they're trying to do lives and i get it because we are trying to figure out our way in this big old youtube world and this social media driven influencer world but um i do not let me say this i don't know natasha because um poison used to be my right Exactly. Um, poison used to be my signature when it first came out. And then it stunk on me. It got really bad on me. So I've never, I have a Poison Girl EDT and it's okay. Um, so I never really tried the po Poison since then. So I said I am going to try them, you know, see how they smell. Because I did, you know, I just was like, mm, I don't like no Poison. So I've kind of stayed away from it. So I'm going to see how it smells now on me because maybe it smells better. Who knows? I don't because I haven't bothered with wearing it. But anyway, we have this nest. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of really sad right now on YouTube. Let's, you know, just being honest, it's kind of really sad to watch videos now because they are, um, they are so, you know, they're, they're searching so much and still trying to figure out how to make it work on this hamster wheel. And, um, and, and, you know, now it's become this whiny fest about it. You know, there's nothing to whine about. Um, oh, you're welcome. I just bought my first Aqua de Parma. I have, uh, the first one I bought is Fico de Amalfi. Now, right um which is this one right here you gotta love the blue though the blue is beautiful um but yeah this is my first aqua de parma i am not it depends on the unisex fragrances i like unisex fragrances but i don't like them if they lean too masculine uh-huh <laughs> so you say you watched all, yeah i was just watching hers with the with the wig the flip i was i watched that one um yeah, and so um, it's like so many people, and, and I, that's the thing, everybody, but instead of doing what they want to do or trying, you know, just doing what, you know, working on the things that make them happy, the thing is, is that everybody tells you to, you know, try to get on the trends, try to do this, and it's not necessarily what's going to work for you. You know, you have to know what works for you what you what you can afford to do especially when you're a small youtuber you know because you're all trying to get the views you're trying to make sure you keep that this a certain amount of coin coming in it might not be a lot but it's a certain amount that you want coming in to help offset some of this pricing um the you know what you spend you know but when it's like the whole thing is like oh no um you know, we need to do this. We need to do that. And we need to. And so that's why you have to figure out what works. What's working for you like Ladess is doing more wig things. Um, you know, she's doing more wig things because she's into wigs. And so that works for her. And she's incorporating that into what she's doing. So as you go along, you have to figure out what, you know, I'm learning what, what I want to do, how I want to do it. And you have to be okay with that. Um. Yeah, because the struggle is real and everybody is just like freaking out. And, the, you know, there is a change. Um, come, it is a change. Well, you, well, a lot of people are going to leave it alone. There are going to be people who are going to stop because they're just so frustrated with it. And, you know, it isn't working the same way when actually life never does that you gotta be ready for the change and just move with the move with the vibe and that's what they're not willing to do is move with the vibe and you know it's like because now the average consumer you the viewers are not as caught up in the new products now so having the newest product isn't necessarily all that because people are not into it um yeah, 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 I, yeah. The whole do a live and then take it down is quite annoying to me. It's like, why did you do it if you're gonna take it down? Um, yeah, yeah, it, and so it's just like, you know, and no, no, no lie, you know, I have to like zen myself. I have to zen myself out. Yeah, she does that all the time. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are moving to Instagram TV. A lot of them are moving around and trying to like work different platforms. Uh, it's it's really it's really interesting times. Yeah, right. So right, people aren't as interested in the new news. So if that was your vibe, if that's what you do, how do you keep sustaining your channel if what you've always done is just you know pushed out new product, pushed out new product. And what's happening now is that now you have people want to see things that have more thought in them. I've always said that the smaller channels will wind up winning if they stay, if they think about it, because they have to be more um, 
creative with their content. Whereas the bigger channels, all they've had to do is get the new product, show it, and things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, the other thing is, is that everybody wants the, the new vibe is that, you know, <laughs> is that um, because of that, because so so the new, the bigger channels all they've ever had they throw on some they do a little get ready with me chit chat in front of the camera and have some and do like put pull out some new products and they were good well um yeah you know exactly everybody's trying to do the same thing not understand they've got the the they've got the audience so they can do a lot of these things but even them they're now getting boring because you can only do so much of that. And we have hit a point of makeup fatigue where people aren't that concerned about the new stuff because it's all looking the same, you know. Um, you know and exactly, Instagram is killing on the new products. We just go over there and look at them and say, hey, do we like them? And, and, and uh, you know, folks ain't really to critique things, really. They just want to, you know, we got to keep them the, the train going. So it is what it is. And, but it is, a, a, so the problem is, is that so many small channels, they got caught up in trying to do it like the big channels, which is buying a lot of product, making sure you're doing your first impressions, um, making sure you're doing some first impressions, making sure you show some products, making sure you do that. And then you go on to the next one. Well, you can get a certain level of, of popularity, but because so many people are now kind of pushing away from that, it's just not as popular. So now you need to start thinking about other things and how to incorporate other sources of beauty, things like that. And so that's what we're going to see if people are smart. We'll see them doing other things with beauty, doing more shop my stashes, doing more of showing products that they've had that they really love. You got to put a lot of that. You have to put that in or you're going to drive yourself crazy and stop. Not necessarily. And everybody tried to do the low buy, no buy and thought that was going to be that was going to save their channels. And it did not. It did not. You know, it's not that's not going to change. That's not going to save your channel, especially when you're small declutters everybody wants to declutter their stuff so now that you declutter what the fuck you gonna do it's just these it's like you know right mm -hmm. yep yes yeah, so everybody's talking sustainability and things like that and it's a, the landscape of beauty is changing is how is it changing right mm -hmm. but see the declutters then the, the issue with the declutters is the smaller channels are trying to do these deep dive declutters and then what do you do you know it's like if you had 40 pallets and you've taken yourself down to 10 you know then what you gonna do right what you gonna do then you got 10 pallets what you gonna do then so there's this, there's this thing. So people are trying so hard to in the paint in these things that they're killing their channels because now you look stupid because now you, you got to buy repurchase shit to make up for everything that you declutter. I don't declutter that much. I ain't going to sit up here and laugh. Right. Right, exactly. Yeah, the bigger channels are now doing declutters when they when they don't want to do when they you know when they when they should have been doing these all the time. So now they're doing declutters because they're trying to get more gain more viewership. Because look at the look at some of these bigger channels, and you will see they're not getting as many views as they used to get. You know, it is like that time. So now, yeah, they trying to do declutters. You're going to see them looking at smaller channels and pulling content from them. And, you know, things that they see smaller channels do a lot and get views. The bigger channels are going to take from them. And the smaller channels are going to be dying and upset because now everybody's doing what they were doing. Right. 
but yeah you buy a lot danny and that's different because you do it for that mm-hmm yeah yeah oh yeah you can see it you know it's like they're not getting those views that they were used to. and so many people are doing more since but the interesting thing is is like you can always tell they really ain't into scent because they'd be like i don't know how to describe it and i don't know this and i don't know that and it's like well you might have wanted to do a little research you might have wanted to do some you know homework before you got on here talking about it because they wanted that the thing is is that you'll see all these people now doing them but they want to do them in a lazy way in order to get the views because they're seeing that perfume is getting you know kind of popular especially because um right right exactly um but so you see a lot of people doing them and you can tell they're do, trying to do them to get the views, you know, get some, you know, views, but they're doing it in a lazy way, not, you know, and not even trying to do any homework on it. They just want to um, do that. Yes. And um, yeah. And then, you know, the high end makeup people are coming, but then the high end makeup people have to understand you only have so many people looking for high end makeup. You're not going to get, you know, you might get really good views for a while. Um, yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> See, I, I even look at, you know, you might get some views for a while on that stuff, but then it just kind of dies down. And it's just what's happening. And so people are like, oh, my God. So it's, it's a really interesting landscape going on. I be feeling for people. I mean, I, I understand because, and don't get me wrong, I've had my moments. We all have our moments. When you do this kind of stuff, you have your moments. You're like, fuck it, I ain't doing it no more. Fuck these people. But if you like it, like I, that's why I found my little spot. Let's look. At, let's listen. Okay, let's go back to the nest. Even though I do not like the nest um, packaging for these, I like Floral Streets much better because you can get about easier. But you know. Milani and salt and pepper. Right, but the high end chicks buy something all the time, but you can only do your, you have to understand that you're only going to have that many people looking for high end makeup. Not that many people, the, that segment is very niche. So you and and not everybody's going to be buying that much. You know, you're going to have the people who are going to buy a little here and there, but they're not going to buy that much. Let's try this one. This is Black Tulip. Let's see what's in Black Tulip. Black Amber Plum is nuanced by the aroma of patchouli, pink pepper, and Japanese violet. Oh, she is pretty. This is me. I like plum. I found that I like plum. I didn't think I like decadence, but I do like decadence and I like it for the plum. And this is plum, but it's not as good as decadence plum. It's like plum light. <laughs> but it does have uh, the violet in it. So it's got the plum and the violet, but it's definitely plum light. It is, it's plum light. Okay, so that was it. Yeah, so it's like, mm, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's plum light. Um, I, I have to ch I have to play with my, um, with these again, cause I can't remember about their longevity and stuff. So this is Wild Poppy. So these are my first impressions of Nest. Ooh. Wild Poppy luscious aromas of pear, raspberry, and apricot are infused with hints of Himalayan jasmine and rose de grasse. I don't know. I have the smell on my skin. It smells decent. It's a nice floral with a little fruit in it. But I don't know if I, I don't know. 
This might be cute in the summertime, though. This definitely has summer vibes to me. It could be a really cute summer fragrance. Um, yeah, so, like, you know, and the high-end stuff is, like, cool to watch. I'm like, man, it's okay. Okay, let's go with Coco Woods. Eh. Eh. I'm sorry. I really hate these kind of things. It's like you'd you be struggling to get them out. And then you pop them out sometimes and they go flying. Don't you hate stuff that's like in these type of things? Because the struggle is getting them out without them flying across the room. That's the struggle. To not have them flying across the room. Okay, so Cocoa Woods is the essence of bittersweet cocoa is wrapped in sequoia wood and white sandalwood and blended with exotic hints of tiara blossom and Thai ginger. Oh, Cocoa Woods sounds this like this might be nice, y'all. Oh, snap, this might be nice. Let's see what Cocoa Woods smells like. I need some stuff with ginger in them because I love the scent of ginger, but I don't have any fragrances with them. I got to go look that up. Maybe I'll need to. This is very light. I don't smell that good. I mean, my nose is a little stuffed up. Where's my stuff? Oh, here it is. My DJ glass. That's what I call it now. My son is messing with me now, right? I might be killing DJ soon, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Let me spray this again. Because I'm not smelling it right. I'm supposed to be getting a burst of chocolate. I'm not getting a burst of no, I don't like this. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna have to smell it again. Maybe we want to put in a skin. It might be better. I'm on, okay. It's high, it's high, it's high. It didn't do nothing for me. Cocoa Woods, Cocoa nothing. Cause I mean, Choco must. See, here's the thing. If you tell me Cocoa and stuff like that, I'm thinking chocolate musk. Chocolate musk is giving me straight stuff. Um, straight in love. So, you know, it's like, I don't know, it just it didn't do nothing for me. But we, maybe if I put them, hold on, let me put on my skin. Let's try this one on the skin. Let's see if we can get something going on. Because maybe it needs to be on the skin or something. I'm just going to put it on my hand. Put it right here, see how it smells. Because it sounded lovely. It's very faint. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, this ain't it. That's why it's on sale. Because I'm barely getting the cocoa. Mm-mm. No. No, it's not doing nothing. It's all right. All right, let's go with Wisteria Blue. We're going to let this dry down on me and see what happens. Hey, Kristen. Yes, I am. It's very faint. Okay, so this is Wisteria Blue. Let's see what Wisteria Blue has in it. Wisteria Blue, delicate notes of fresh Wisteria are blended with the essence of Bulgarian rose, imperial jasmine, and fresh watery nuances. Now, I used to have a Wisteria bush in my backyard. I, I love Wisteria for the house. Does anybody, has anybody had, had a Wisteria bush? They get huge. And in the springtime, when they bloom, you're, you're, the, the air is just perfumed with wisteria. So I do love wisteria for that. I Because like, you know, my old house, I just had one there in the backyard and it, and it, it was huge. And every spring it would bl blossom and it would, you know, when the wind would hit it, the breeze would hit it, it would just like, just, ugh. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this reminds me of it. 
Yeah. Oh, and I love lilacs too. I had lilacs too. I had wisteria and lilacs. Lilacs are gorgeous too. Oh, don't you love them? Yeah, we had a wisteria. Somebody planted it. I had a lilac one too. Lilac is the same thing. Oh, I love what. So this is pretty. This is, these are very much springy kind of vibes. Kind of got a soapiness to it though. It's got a soapiness to it. Kind of got a clean one to it. Kind of clean. Blue was that blue wisteria. All right, citrine. Citr Excuse me, citrine. The dewy softness of lotus flower and freesia are set against sparkling citrus notes and hints of precious. <gasps> Excuse me, precious woods. Let's see. I guess I could just use the other side. Oh well, too late now. Yes, lilac is gorgeous. <laughs> I do smell the citrus. Yeah, it definitely has a strong citrus, which is nice. I do like a good citrus. I don't know what's getting me hiccups. <gasps> I breathed it too hard. Hold on. I was singing a song to myself just in case you all didn't know. Yes, can definitely smell the citrus in this. I don't know what lotus flower smells like. I have to get some scents like that. Okay. Definitely a cute little citrusy one. Midnight Fleur. Now I've had this one. I don't remember what it smells like. I have some still left in my scent bird. Because I used up my indigo. I never used up the Midnight Fleur. So. Midnight Fleur. Exotic woods, patchouli, and black amber are blended with sensual notes of night blooming jasmine and vanilla orchid. I don't think I got that much um, sensuous out of it because I would have reworked it more. You know, I, like having it, I do remember, I do recall having it. It was nice, but it, you know, because you give me something that says sexy, sensual, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock that shit till the end, till it come off my skin. You know what I'm saying? So, mm, let's see. You, you, listen, Jasmine is one of my favorite scents. Jasmine, Lang Lang. Um, what else do I like? I like Jasmine. I like Lang Lang. I like um, Sandalwood. That's what, some of my favorites. Oh, I'm forgetting Midnight Fleur. She is cute. But, yeah, she's definitely musky. Okay, okay. Midnight Fleur, cute. She cute, she cute, she cute. Yeah. Okay, so I, I apparently I did like Midnight Flora. I just don't remember it. I will tell you what fragrances do to me. When people say it gets into their head, it hits me in the back of my throat. Like, yeah. That's when I know I've been smelling a lot of stuff and it's kind of strong. So it hits me in the back of my throat right up in here. Messes with my, my, my glands. Last one is Dahlia and Vines. Let's see what she says about this one. Dewy daffodils, peony, and rose are blended with the essence of garden vines. Okay, 89 people up in here. 88 now. Come on, say hello. Give a thumbs up. Do whatever you need to do since you're up in here. Since you are up in here. Come on with it. All right, Dahlia and Vines. Come on with it now, 90 people. Come on, y'all. Come on, say hey, 91. How y'all doing? Can I get a hello? Can I get a hello? Can I get a hey, y'all? Hello. Oh, my goodness. Guess what I heard? This is okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's all right. 
it's kind of you know it's kind of woody uh kind of green i'm not i'm not a huge green person when it comes to my fragrances i'm not a huge green but i will wear these see how they smell on the skin let's see this one oh thank you so much oh my god this just died this is gone it's this cocoa woods is gone it's nothing there no mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. right nigga scared and run away you know that's all right. Give me my engagement. Stay here. Don't go nowhere. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't go away. See, there goes one. You said we said it. There goes one. I start messing when they leave. Okay, let me let me leave these. Let me leave my lurkers alone. Let me leave my lurkers alone. <laughs> Let me leave the lurkers alone. Okay, fine. Just lurk. Okay, stay. Don't go nowhere. Stay. Did I monetize this baby too? Gotta make sure I got everything going on. Everything. Yes, that thing is gone. All right, lurkers gonna lurk. Let them lurk. Okay, they gotta lurk. Let's just let them lurk. Let them lurk, baby. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, so the, that was so let's talk. So any signature scents? What let me hear about y'all signature scents. If you have one, let me hear about it. I would love to hear about it. Michelle. What's your signature scents? What is the ones that you'd be like, yeah? Them damn Lumi commercials are too long. Let's just, you know what? I think viewers should tell them. Um, <laughs> it's about that time. Hello, Troll Troll Network. Come on in. Um, the Troll Network is coming on in. Yes. Um, <laughs> come on in. Okay. Um, the Lumi commercials are ridiculous i think they're funny as hell but no commercial no ad should be more than a minute i don't know what these companies think um what's they just bobby brown beach and glossier you okay all right so those are yours um addict is michelle's i can see you doing addict because you like you know snow princess snow queen and you had your hair up okay so um right right what are you scared of don't live your life scared oh let me help you out see out don't be scared with life life is too short to be scared life is too short to be scared honey life is too short to be scared you should try the the uh club de nuit intense for women danny that's a beautiful spicy rose you could that could be you that could be you girl Forty minutes? That's insane. But four minutes is too long. Cause I, when it comes up on me, I'll be like, no, click through. No, I'm not watching that. Real talk. And then like St. Jude has a two and a half, three minute ones. No, cut it down to a minute. To a minute. Oh, you're gonna have to rewatch, honey. We are hour and forty two minutes in. We have been through all kinds of sins. We've been through. Is he away? You need me hold him? Come on, right here. Guess who's coming by to see us? Right. Burberry Brit, Joe Malone, Cardamon, and Mosa. Hey, Cliff. Oh, shit. Everything. Hey, oh, oh, oh. He got my hair, grandson. G son, G son, you got my hair. Right. Where's this bottle? Right, the little man. Hey, G son. Hey, G son. Hey, G son. Gigi's boy. He wear. Is this one of his? Uh, I think this is one of his. Oh, is this his robe? What does he got on? 
Oh, no, no, we're not going to have no attitude. We're not going to have no attitude because we're hungry. We're not going to have no attitude because we're hungry. No, sir. Right, honey. Yes, Regal Bun is for because of him. So where do I get the supplies from? What's my quota? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Supplies of what? Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. You're not going to let him see you. His eyes is wide open, too. Let me let me turn him so y'all can see how handsome he looks today. Show, him off, show off your handsomeness. Show off your handsomeness. He got a little baby acne going on right now. Eyes is just wide open. It's, what is it, 2 o'clock in the morning? Flor Botanica, Amethyst, Pure Poison, and Insulin Sensitive. You've been nursing this whole time. Ooh, hey. <laughs> what you so happy about? Ma Mama been feeding you? Mm -hmm. Mama been just giving you it all. <laughs> He's so happy. Because <laughs> he fat. Little greedy boy. Your little greedy self. Reach out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just head just going all over the place. Son. He's planning. Cares looking at brushes. He's planning when he get old that he gonna just be great. No, you're not, G son. We're gonna teach you early. Stay away from grab my stuff. GG stuff is this is off limits area. I'm gonna have like a curtain across my put a gate in. Where I'm gonna have a gate across my stuff. It's gonna be a huge long ass gate going across. Do not cross this line, G son. Do not cross this line, Jesus. We're not doing that today. We're not doing it. I've been wanting to try Flora Botanica. Oh, thank you. Maybe it's going to be around here. He go ahead and it's going to be a cold. So he's going to have to have a cold to get in. Choo, 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 choo. That means that just means Gigi gonna have to have her beauty room with a lock on it. Gigi gonna have a beauty room with a lock on it because uh, he starts saying up shit. We might have a non liking day for with G Son. That's what I'm calling him G Son. <laughs> but uh. So yes, the regal buns will be up. Cause he is not snatching out my hair by the roots. Cause you know babies, babies be like, Ugh. cause a baby will wrap. Cause of what is up with babies being able to rip a necklace off your neck like that? A baby can rip, rip a necklace off like nobody's business. You be sitting there, they be like, oh, I was like, eh. Ew. Don't have on big earrings. Mm -mm, you, I like my ears. I don't wear earrings around babies because they will snatch them babies out your ears, rip your whole ear apart. No, man, that's not happening with me. No, not gonna happen. Mm -mm. This head will be in a bun of braids around him. What are you doing, cat? I know he did. Oh yeah, <laughs> necklaces. <laughs> they are gone. You can just, they're just gone. This is a done deal. They got them. Mm -mm. I got to start thinking about baby proof in my life, though, because my life is baby proof. I got to put all my jewelry away. I got to go buy my thing. Um, I need to buy this jewelry armoire thing to put all my jewelry away because I need to put all of my jewelry away. Well, my poor baby, he going to be like choking. He, I'm, a, I'm a choking hazard. Right. Okay. Because let me show y'all. You see that right there. Mm -hmm. He got me the other day. Yeah, and if I did that to him, I'd be in trouble, right? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking for anybody who doesn't know me. I would not, I would not scratch my grandson. Nobody go look at her. Oh my gosh, she said she scratched her grandson. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Speaking of crazy, oh, he got me right there. Um, that ain't my nail. Wait a minute, speaking of crazy, there was something on Dateline, I gotta find it online, that I was reading the article about, about a couple that kids are missing, 
this uh, this woman's kids are missing and she and she just left town did y'all hear about that she was like in idaho with some crazy shit and her and the husband just left town thank you sandra but the deeper part of it is it's a whole lot going on she's like part of a she's into um Uh, end of days she's like in those one of those end of days religions where you know they're talking about you know the second coming and all about that yes exactly yes yes but did you hear that her brother killed her first husband right and they're in Hawaii oh my god so they they didn't left Idaho they living in they live in their best life in Hawaii I just don't understand this though uh, yes, girl, you got to hear about this. The, apparently, Dateline has done a story on them. Okay, so what? Okay, so the story began because two of their kids is missing. It's a 17 year old and a, oh, the story is deeper. It's a 17 year old and like a seven year old is missing, but they just left. They, they're they like, oh, they're making too much of it. Um, It's on Dateline. Apparently, Dateline did a show. And so, the, oh, the, so now what they're saying is, get this, they're saying that, um, yeah, yes, listen, the first, the, the wife, her first husband is dead because the brother killed him supposedly, her brother killed him supposedly. Okay, the brother, um, right, no, and then they aren't helping the police, but then the brother that killed her first husband has been killed mysteriously now this husband his wife has been is died under strange circumstances and they're together now and now these two kids are missing but no one knows where they are and they're just like oh i don't know they're just blowing it out of proportion and they're living in they left I and answer any questions. I'm confused. Why can't somebody make their asses go back to Idaho and answer some damn questions? These kids have been missing for months. It's insane. Let me just say this, and I'm going to say it real clear. Only in Idaho could this happen. Oh, I didn't hear about the storage unit. What storage unit? Crazy. Because it, and yeah, so now they in Hawaii living, just living in Hawaii, just moved. To, I, I, can I just say, I just need to know what they do that they can just get up and move to Hawaii because I need that kind of money. Why well, just be like, you know what, I'm moving. Oh, I can't wait till these streaks come in. That streak is trying though. Well, it sounds from what, no, okay. So what it sounded like is that they just up and left in the, like the middle of the night. Wow. Girl, that, good questions. That's why I got to watch this Dateline. You know, I ain't got TV, so I got to find it online. I got to find Dateline online to watch it. Ooh. But it is crazy. I was, I saw something, it was like a People article online I saw about it. And what the hell? Regal bun, y'all. Regal ass bun. The regalist of regal buns. <laughs> <laughs> wow I need to wash my hair I need to do a favorites video I'm going to do it toward the end of this month though maybe next week because it's almost the end of the month yeah maybe I'll do it now because I ain't like I'm using a whole lot of products but I got some good hair products I used I have some uh, some things not a lot I gotta get back into wearing my makeup again. I've just been low, so lazy. This is not my time of year. I put four ounces in the bottle. You still like your warm cashmere? Yay, cousin! 
I put four ounces in. Yeah, that warm cashmere is good. I have, um, they have a new summer fragrance that's coming out. Sounds really cute. I was on, I was on new arrivals on Ulta looking at it. So I like this. Okay, we're going to talk about this in a favorite. But I like this stuff in the wintertime. I didn't like it in the summertime, but I like it in the wintertime. It's very good on the face. And luckily I got two bottles of it because, you know, one got lost and then I got it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, it's all coming out right now. Let me just tell y'all this. Remember we was talking about Don't Buy Retail? You know, uh, Marc Jacobs came out. Yeah, they, yes, yeah, the Summer Amazing Grace came out. Um, hey, Kim. You know, um, Marc Jacobs came out with three new daisies. It was like Daisy Love Days, Daisy Summer. It was a bunch of daisies came out in January. Why are they already on fragrance now? I'm telling y'all, do not pay regular price for fragrances. Do not. Do not pay regular price at all. I was like, damn, they just came out. So they were they're already, they've already hit fragrance net. I know it's gonna take a minute for that rose spray, but I ain't paying for that mess anyway. Tom Ford is Tom Ford can eat my black behind, as far as I'm concerned. $355 for 50 mils. Come on now. I ain't paying that. $355 for this much perfume. That's what Tom Ford is charged. But then again, he charged $150 for his foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, he charged $150 for his foundation. I'm sorry. I ain't, ain't no... Mm -mm, not gonna happen. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, he's a pricey bitch. He's a pricey bitch. Right there. Pricey bitch. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, time for... And don't get me wrong. There are some... I, I've seen perfumes that time for ain't got shit on. I'll be honest. I've seen some. There's a there's one. He, um, Roja Dove. Um, Roja. His stuff is expensive. This is a this is a niche brand I've seen, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I need a sugar daddy for this shit right here. I need I need an expense account for this shit. Rosa Dove, Clive Christian, Bodacia, the Victorious. Um, the no, see, here's the thing, Danny. He's not because the niche brand. There's a there's a private blend. These private labels, you surprised how much people are spending on. Per, once you get in these uh groups, baby, they spend the coin on. They makeup people ain't got shit on perfume people. I mean, like they they. Initio is three hundred fifty dollars a bottle. I was like, ooh, ooh, you play with my emotions, you know. So there's. I'm like, whoa, on a lot of stuff. I, I had to do the whoa, whoa, is that what you asking for? Because it's a, I'm telling you, there's a company um, called Bodacia the Victorious. I think that's how you say it. Bodacia, I think that's how you say it. Four, five hundred dollars for it. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably sure you know my cap is a little high. I I I might pay something for something. Um, but I five hundred for a bottle of come on perfume. Ooh, ooh! You hurt my heart at that point. You hurt my heart. My heart is hurting. My heart is beating deep and long and going, I don't know if I can do that, y'all. I ain't got the money for that though. I would need a, I would need a sponsor. You don't even have to be real cute either. Right, exactly. I need a sponsor. He, he don't even have to be super cute either. That was terrible to say. 
for a minute before I go. Well, no, we'll talk about men another time. Let's have, we're going to do, I think another Saturday night should be about men. I think Saturday, next Saturday night will be all about the men. Let's talk about the men because we're hitting the two hour mark. It's time to go to bed. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, but we're going to talk about the men next time. Saturday night will be all about the men. I will put it on the calendar. Let's talk men and they stupid, stupid, stupid shit men do. That's what we should call it. The stupid shit that men do. That will be next Saturday night. <laughs> I will put it on the calendar. I have even, and I have that look. The stupid shit that men do. And see, that will be us next week. See y'all next Saturday. And then, uh, you know, during the week, cause I'm off. Right. Hello, right. You see what you see how this works for me, Kim? They don't love me. 110 people, 21 likes, and barely anybody said hi. So on your way out, hit the like button. Hit the like button. On the way out, hit the like button. Appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. That one's gonna go, go long. If I put that wait, the stupid shit men do. Man, we could be on here till the sun come up. That could be a marathon. Stupid stories about men. All right, good night, y'all. Thank you all for hanging out with me in the middle of the night. As always, I appreciate you all. Do I really? I really do. Talk to you later.